Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fever and I'm a lifestyle content creator living in my Utopia, Canada. If this is your first time here, you're definitely welcome. Please subscribe so you can join our family. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming when I post new videos. So in this video, I'll be sharing some tips to help new immigrants settle into Canada. So if you want to hear all I have to say, definitely keep on watching. <laughs> The first point on my list would be for you to learn a skill. So as much as possible, please learn a skill before moving here. I have a video where I talked about skills you can learn before moving or business ideas that you can use or consider after moving here. So check that video out. I will put in the link in the description box below and also in the card above. So definitely check that video out. My next point would be for you to be friendly and to network. A lot of immigrants that move don't really know people in the cities they live in or they might not have families, right? So it's very important for you to network and also just to be friendly. That way you put yourself in a position to make friends and also to meet new people so yeah definitely something to think about my next point will be for you to buy your food in bulk so if you're able to you know do your shopping in bulk i feel like it would just save you cost you know in some cases and also it could just save you you know multiple trips to the grocery store so yeah buy your things in bulk as much as you can and another thing will be for those of us that eat a lot of tomatoes and peppers when cooking right you can buy them you know towards the end of the summer because they're usually cheaper there right so what people will do is they usually buy like an extra freezer right and then buy you know a few boxes and store them in the freezer that would last them for a few months or you know if possible till the next summer right so that's what some people do another thing i know people do is you know they come together and go in groups to the farm right and then they buy like goat meat or cow meat and then they share right so like they can kill one cow and then share it amongst themselves and that way it's just cheaper and you know that way you're buying um stay more meat for a more affordable price right so it's just something to think about those are some things that i know people do here so um yeah as much as possible buy your food in bulk it will definitely save you some cost and you know in some cases it would save you multiple trips to the grocery store the next thing will be for you to bring your driver's license from your home country if you already have one that way you'll be able to drive for the first few weeks after moving you know pending when you're able to get your driver's license right so yeah definitely bring it if you have one and, and even if you don't drive in the first few weeks it will help you save some time you know trying to get your driver's license right so yeah definitely bring that if you already have one another tip for new immigrants would be to buy you know your products towards the end of the season right an example would be if you're looking to buy affordable winter clothing right you would look for those clothes you know towards the end of winter right that way you'll find them on sale because a lot of stores are clearing out their winter stock and trying to bring in you know stock for summer right so try to target you know buying those products towards the end of the season right so at the end of the summer you can buy summer clothing for the next year right when you know stores when stores are trying to clear out their summer products to bring in winter products i hope that makes sense right so yeah try to look for those products you know towards the end of the season and that way you can save some money um you know on those products the next thing i'll be talking about with jobs i get a lot of questions about you know finding jobs and getting jobs after moving to canada and i understand that it's not so easy it works out you know very well for some people or it works out faster for some people compared to others but it's not the end of the world the thing for me is you might not get your dream job right away right but you know if you get an opportunity it's not a bad idea to you know take that up especially if you have a family like you don't want to be stranded right so why not take that you know job that you get if it's not something that's illegal or something that's bad you know take it and while at it you can you know apply out apply to you know other other opportunities you can apply to better opportunities right but that way you're ensuring that you're still able to you know provide for your family to an extent and your family is not stranded right so i think that's just the thing for me right you might not get you know the position of your dreams right away but you know eventually it will come okay by god's grace but in the meantime you know you might need to do some you know other jobs that are not you know exactly what you would want or what you would like you know but you're just doing it to you know sustain yourself and sustain your family okay i feel like i just didn't have to touch on that because i get questions about that or you know i just hear some conversations and i just hear how some people really really struggle just because they haven't gotten their dream job like honestly it's not really easy especially after moving to a place where you don't really know anyone or um you know after moving to a place where you don't have help so it's just something to think about you know so yeah, you can take up a job and maybe even take some certification courses just to, you know, help you get familiar with how things are done here and, and hopefully in no time you'll get your dream job. The last and final point for this video will be for couples to support each other as much as possible. Moving is not easy. And I can imagine moving to a place where you don't really know anyone or moving to a place where you don't have so much help, right? I just feel like couples, you know, have each other and I feel like as much as possible, please, please, please support each other because it's not easy. And, you know, just, just be there for one another and help each other out where necessary. So yeah, 
yeah try not to be hard on yourself as much as possible and try not to be hard on your spouse as much as possible um yeah that'll be all for this video guys thank you so so much for watching i really hope this video is helpful and yeah as, as always if you have questions please leave them in the comment section down below or send me a dm on instagram and i'll respond i'll see you in my next video but until then stay safe and stay blessed bye